Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone listening, good morning. This is the report of the week, and I just wanted to make kind of a uh, little bit of a random video, I guess is the best way to put it. There we go, we're focused on my face. I was just kind of thinking, you know, it's the first, well, it's not really the first of the year, we're at that new year, right, it's January, we're getting into 2019, I don't know how, how different things really feel for you, it doesn't really feel too different for me. But this was, uh, I think it's a topic that's kind of on, on some of our minds, and it's certainly, I mean, it's crossed my mind enough to the point where I wanted to just get to the camera and uh, talk about it for a little bit. New Year, right? A new year, and you get the New Year's resolutions, right? Maybe try to change this or improve upon that. Uh, you know, I never like using the word New Year's resolution. I always like just calling them goals, but you, you, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, but for the new year, we'll try to set ourselves up for a goal. Uh, perhaps we'll try and take up one thing or start up something else, expand this, work on that, and maybe, maybe for you it might end up being a creative pursuit. Maybe you want to start up a YouTube channel, right? Or you got a YouTube channel, you want to expand it. Got the SoundCloud going, doing a podcast, a shortwave broadcast, uh, you know, or anything in between. Maybe it's work, business, school related, right? We want to grow it, we want to improve upon it. And you're trying to motivate yourself, you're trying to think, alright, how, how can I get myself to do this? One piece of advice, and now this especially goes for the online world, but I think it can go really and apply to anything, and just hear me out if, if, if you can. A lot of people, especially right with YouTube, let's just, let's just focus on YouTube, though it'll really be generalized. They'll say, if you want to expand a YouTube channel, or grow a channel, or, you know, get your presence on YouTube out there, uh, you gotta be relevant, right, you gotta, you gotta be on top of the trends, you gotta use a high-quality camera, good lighting, uh, you know, and, and, and they give you this long list, oh, I see the cat over there is going crazy. <laughs> Uh, maybe cats, you know, everyone likes cats, right? Maybe throw a cat or, or some, some sort of creature in the video, too. And they give you this checklist, right? You've probably seen it. One thing that you gotta remember, you can do all of those things on that list right. And you can get the lighting down. You can get the editing down. You could get drone shots going and everything. And you put so much work and effort and you were going down this checklist and I was trying to have this personality and do this that and the other thing yet the results aren't what I wanted them to be you, you, you know what I mean maybe it's YouTube maybe you're trying to draw or sing or anything and you put so much work into this and you were trying to do something and, and be something it's just not working for you right I think there's one part that maybe they include, maybe they don't, but I think it's the most important thing of them all. Even more important than a good camera, or a good microphone, or a good paintbrush, or anything. That most important thing is being genuine. I think that that is the most important thing to any anything, really. Being genuine. And with being genuine, comes that drive and that natural passion and energy that will follow along with it. If you are just trying to play a part, if you're saying, well, I want to create a YouTube channel to try to get big and to try and make a little money, and I'm not really going to be me. I'm going to be, you know, kind of this exaggerated, uh, you know, type of act and, you know, try and really be, be someone who I'm not. Maybe it'll work for you. Maybe you'll be able to do it. I think for many of us, though, even if it takes off, it'll wear on you. And eventually it'll, it'll get to you. Audiences will be able to tell it. You know, the viewers, the listeners. I mean, you know what's real. You know what's fake. You know when you see someone sitting in front of a camera, whether they're doing something because they want to do it, or because they feel like they have to do it. You can sense it, and you can smell it. That most important thing is having that drive and that motivation to actually go ahead and do it. 
And sometimes it's going to take a little bit of trial and error. Don't get me wrong. You might have what you think is a great idea, and maybe you want to do something with gaming, right? So you start up your gaming channel, but you, 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 do, you do the first video, and it's just kind of a mess. You have this idea, and you have this passion, and you're trying to do something with it, but it's just not coming together the way that you thought it would in your mind. And that's okay. And I want you to know that. Listen, life, it's not always perfect. And it's not always, a, a very, very, very seldom, should I say, is it smooth. You're going to have those bumps in the road, and you're going to have those ups and downs. And there might be times where you have that passion, you have that drive. Maybe it's just important to take a break or call it quits. But I think if you want to try to start or improve something for the new year, 2019, the most important thing to have through all of it, no matter what, is that passion, that drive, sincere motivation and willingness to do it. If you have that, in my opinion, you will reach that goal. You will attain it. Because that that drive is a source of energy, in my opinion. It just, it, it, it's, it's self-replenishing. I see that in my radio show, for instance, you know. Sometimes, of course, the YouTube is primarily what I think a lot of you guys know before, and what I do focus a lot of time, effort, and energy to. Sometimes, and I think back to a couple months ago, and pardon the bird, that's just one of the haters, uh, you know, but I think back to a couple months ago, when I was doing the, uh, you know, the whole craze, trying to find this burger from Burger King, and I remember I was just taking it way too seriously, right? And it was just getting to me, it was getting to me mentally. And I remember I made a video kind of just venting about it and getting it out there, right? I, I also think to what what I also do, right? My radio show. I, you could call it a podcast. I guess it is a podcast, but it goes out on the radio, right? I've been doing that for four years straight now. I mean, that's where my passion lies. I, I love doing the radio show. I pick up the microphone each week. I record one, two, sometimes three hours of talk some music, I, I see listeners from all around the world write in and, and uh, contact, and, and you know, that's where that passion is, that drive, and it's a lot of work, it's hours and hours, I gotta edit it, and I gotta put it together, and thousands of dollars each and every single month to pay for the airtime, but that passion and that drive to do it, it fuels it, and it keeps it going, and it makes all that time, that effort, and that expense well worth it. When you find that source of passion for whatever it is that you're doing. This could even apply, in my opinion, to academics. Might be a little tougher, but I think it could still apply. You could find a course or anything that you really have that genuine interest, and it'll go by a lot easier and a lot faster than you had anticipated. But I think having that passion, that drive, such an important thing, really, in my opinion, the key to success in whatever your endeavors for 2019 are. And like I was saying, on that one final note, just remember, we have our ups, we have our downs. This year, it's going to be a year of ups and downs for all of us. And remember that. This is just part of the natural cycle of life. You might be at one of those lows right now. It'll pick up. It will. It'll get better. No one's perfect. It's okay to make mistakes. I've made so many. We all do. We just pick up the pieces, keep on moving forward. I just wanted to share a few words that have been on my mind. I didn't even know if I was going to press record today. I kind of just wanted to step outside. I was thinking, I don't know, should I, should I not? And I just thought, you know, this is the time to do it. So I set up the camera, and uh, here we are. I'm kind of layering it up. I wanted to finally break out this trench coat for the new, for the new year. And I uh, just wanted to share some insight with all of you on a final... I guess final note now. Now this is the real final note. Uh, coming up this Thursday, you know I was talking about the radio show, and I want to address it for just a, a quick minute. This Thursday's radio show is going to be a truly unique one because it's going to have your voice. It's going to be going out to all, all across the world. Believe it or not, we even have listeners in Antarctica. Uh, 15 shortwave frequencies on TuneIn, on SoundCloud, thousands of listeners, where we're going to be hearing your predictions for the year 2019. I mean, what do you think is going to happen this year? We're going to be getting to them, and uh, we're going to see, really, what, what you, the listener, 
thinks is going to happen this year. The show has yet to air, and if you want to have a voice in it, uh, record an audio file, could be an MP3 or anything, of your prediction, what you think is going to happen this year, send it to me, V-O-R-W-I-N-F-O at gmail.com, and then this Thursday, when the new show airs, you might end up hearing your very own voice on the radio, and uh, we'll just get to as many predictions as we can. I'll be promoting it very vigorously. You can check out that new show and many others at soundcloud.com slash v-o-r-w underscore radio underscore i-n-t and many other ways as well. Thank you so much for watching this, dear listeners. I hope you got something out of it. And no matter what your goals, your plans, or endeavors are for 2019, I wish you the very best. And in my opinion, you got this. Thank you. Take care. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.